ratio of artwork to landscape in Storm King has this really beautiful rhythm to it. How scale shifts in this kind of magnificent way. Obviously because of the company of the other artists and the works and how strong they are and the incredible presence of landscape is something that I was very inspired by. There's a precipice when you walk out of, of the main building of the house and you see that in the distance and you walk up to it and then it's when you look down that you'll suddenly see this piece but you won't see it until you're above it. And so I wanted to create a piece that was to sort of flip the sky into the earth itself um, and create a sculpture that had an amazing sense of presence and um, a kind of second layer where you would see the entire landscape differently. Fallen Sky is a sculpture that's created out of negative space. It's about carving out into the earth to reflect the sky and to make a new space in that dynamic. I asked the question, what would it look like to build a planetarium of one's own? And as an artist, I was thinking about our effort, our desire, our continual longing that we've had over the years to make meaning of the world around us through materials. And for me, to try and find a kind of wonder, but also a kind of futility that lies in that very fragile pursuit is part of my artwork. I'm really interested in, in this kind of pendulum swing this kind of desire to be able to feel and touch and smell materials. And then the other end of the pendulum being the reality that we have a kind of distance from materials because we have so much time with images. You know, you don't know the authorship of an image when it gets to you. You can manipulate it and you can send it. It's a kind of images as debris.